Hi, Ari, it's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some demons and found out that they want to destroy the Draenei settlement in Ashenvale. So we're going to head back there, and I believe today we are going to fight their leaders. And just like every other episode before, we have been looking for our Black Fathom Depths, but we're not getting any luck. Maybe we will get some luck today. Currently queued up for it. Let's fly on down to Forest Song. Be careful. And we'll do this quest. This quest could be a tough one, but we'll give it a try. I've never done it before. Interested to see how it goes. I wonder if we have any alchemy potions that we can use. NG5 explosives, we don't really need to hold on to those anymore. Looks like we have some junk on us we may have to sell before we leave. Bags are getting quite full. Let's just organize everything. Get rid of that too. Anything I want to sell. Copper tube, yeah, we don't need that. Covert Ops plants, Alpha and Beta, we don't need that either. We've already done that quest. Got some milk on us just in case we run out of water. Which is good to see because we only have 12. Alright, large green sack. I don't know what we'll do with that. Some shoes here to get rid of. Some gloves we don't need. I got a lot of junk on us. I'll get rid of it. What if we need this? Did that made her? No. Yeah, we can clear this bag up pretty much. So we get rid of this meat and this fish. Another large red sack. We got two bags. Also, this warrior. Before the episode started, he uh, challenged me to a duel, and I fought him, and we, I beat him. I know I usually do everything on camera, but I don't know, I, he was taunting me, so I had to fight him. And that is the reason why, if you notice, why we have 12 manas instead of 13. If you notice that, then uh, you're, <laughs> you're on top of your game. But yeah, we beat him. We set up totems and then he came in. He was level uh, 25, so we were three levels above him, so it wasn't much of a challenge. But it's a fun little fight we had. Wish I could have had it on camera for you guys. May you find what you seek. Okay, so here we go. Let's get rid of all this stuff. There we go. And yeah, we got some bag space. Guess we'll do a little repair just in case we have Remember some trouble. The lessons of the past. And there he is, Vindicator Vidar. The Legion's end draws near. Squilly Diddly, it falls to you to see, but this attack by the Burning Legion never comes to pass. You must go and slay their leaders. Without them, the rest of the demons are essentially mindless. You will find Gorgonon in Demonfall Canyon, south beyond Fellfire Hill. Near Manoros, floating broken spear. Diathorus, the seeker, resides somewhere in the Barrow Den atop Demonfall Ridge. To find the ridge, look for a ramp up from Demonfall Canyon, near the Horde's monument to Grom Hellscream. I didn't know there was a monument Remain to Grom. Vigilant. He is the one who sacrificed his life for the Horde. And for pretty much Azeroth. And he uh, put an axe right into, uh, right into Manoroth. I think he said, like, I think that's where the one, he's the orc who's like, we will never be slaves, or something like that, maybe. I don't know. It was a Hellscream who said that. I know that for sure. So I guess we'll go through uh, the Warsong Lumberyard, or Lumber Camp, you could say. And we'll uh, get a bunch of peons to snitch on us. 
we'll run away from them. I hope we're going to be able to do this. It's going to be tough. It is going to be a challenge. But I'm up for it. This quest is also orange. Which means this boss is almost likely to be much higher level than us. But I think we'll be able to do it. With health pods and buffs. And totems. And uh, gift of the Naru. Should have a good chance here. Nice shot. These guys really know how to hit moving targets. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna heal. Because we're gonna have to run by these guards. And they are going to be doing some damage. Try to jump over this. Yeah, got him. Oh, he just ran over it himself. <laughs> Didn't think he would do that. All right, now we gotta run by all these demons. One thing I do know is these orcs won't get anywhere close to these demons. They clearly know their place. Now we just need to find this ramp. Supposedly that is where one of these Gorgonon or Dithorius is. I have a feeling one of them is probably in that uh, cave that we went into last episode. I don't know if it's a good idea to keep running here. I'll have to see. Just keep hugging the wall. Looks like there's a ramp right here. This is probably where we'll go up. And I hope I don't have to fight another one of these guys. Okay, good. Alright, we're gonna fight our way up now. Yeah, we're gonna set up totems, everything. I think that's really the only way we'll be able to succeed. I think it's kind of cheesy in duels. When, um... When shamans set up their totems pre-duel. Because, um... It's pretty OP. Like, they have all their totems down. That's three GCDs that they don't have to do. And we didn't buy water. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot to buy water. Did everything repaired. Got rid of stuff in my bags. Ah, oh, whatever. Figure it out. Just gotta hope that we find these guys before we get run dry. We may have to do a little bit of running around. So here's the ramp. Well, that was the ramp, I think. And then supposedly one of these bosses is around here. It's the same spot as we were yesterday. There he is, Gorgonon. Level 32, Dreadlord. Clearly we're going to have to clear out everything here. Last thing we want to deal with is Gorgonon. Gorgonon's minions. We may have to leave, guys. Not oh, great. Get to the Nar. Don't want to die. Yeah, I'll we'll probably kill Gorgonon, and we may have to go back, depending on how much mana we got. Alright, we did that. That was good. I'm gonna use a bandage here to get our health up after we drink. And we're, we may have to wait for this cooldown. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait for it.
This is kind of silly that he's standing right next to one of these things. Ah, oh, there he is. Look at him coming in. We have to finish her. Kind of have to finish her, dude. Finish her. Finish her. Finish her. Finish her. Get off of me, dude. Rocks. Fuck. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me, dude. This is bad. It's gonna run into more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. It's just this guy now. Go down this way. Still coming? Nope. But we got rid of his one, that one at, that one mob. So, oh man, okay, we got to heal, dude. We got rid of that one mob, and then we got to rush up there again. There's one more for us to take down. Let's have a nice drink. Gorgonon, I think's beatable. Does hit pretty damn hard though. Time to run. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. Get off of me. Okay, good, we're back. Things always creep me out. Got a healing pot. Don't think we can use bandage. Yeah, we can. It's good. We got another one of these. So let's set up shop. It's kind of bad. All right, good. Didn't pull him. That was really good. Perfect. All right, we're gonna set up shop again and then we're gonna have a drink. Okay, so we'll put it down. Drink. We're gonna need full health. I think we'll be full health by the time we pull. 20 seconds on our totem. Okay, get that on. Should probably drink a milk. Where's the milks? Where's the manor regen? Okay, this should be good. Going in. Resisted. Resisted. Oh, God. Okay, well, we already did 80 to 20% damage. Should probably save, the sh save our, our kick for the shadow bolts. Good heal. Get to the Naru. He's gonna cast a Shadow Bolt again. He's gotta. We're pretty tanky. Come on, cast a Shadow Bolt. Knockdown. Barely taking any damage. Shadow Bolt. Interrupted. Lightning Shield. Yeah, I feel like waiting for you. Well, I thought that was going to be a lot harder. But <laughs> it wasn't. We might have been able to fight him. What the heck? Oh, look who's back. Is your friend coming back too? 
Hope your friend doesn't come back. So we have eight manas. We might be able to do this. We're gonna have seven after uh, everything's all said and done. So we might be able to do this. So let's uh, bandage up, and then we took damage to Flame Lash, which is kind of lame. So that canceled our our bandage, but we got tons of got tons of wool. Just gotta watch out for these waters. Okay, I guess we'll have uh, we'll have some cookies jumbo, gumbo. Give us a little buff here of two stamina and spirit for 15 minutes. So heal us up by a little bit. So there we go. We got that. Okay, let's get out of here. Now it's time to find Diathorus the Seeker. Maybe he is the the bigger challenge out of the two. Seems to be the better way down. bit of damage there. Not too much. Don't know where we are, to be honest. But I know where we need to go, or what we need to find. We need to find that cave, I think. Maybe it's up here. Yeah, Demon Fall Ridge. Hit us with a Flame Lash. Does a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, this guy leaves us alone. Okay, good. Uh, got another flame lash on us. Let's heal up after this. Debuff. I don't think you can drink with a dot on Kenny. Doesn't it cancel it? Then I'm not I'm not gonna take the risk. I probably should have used the heal with the extra mana I had. It's not too big of a deal. We do have some food on us. We have some of these pies, I guess. Okay, so let's see if we can get by here. I'm trying to get in this cave. Looks like we may be able to go by these huts here and then into the cave. Jump on this mushroom. It doesn't do anything. Never mind. Jump on that. And we're in. Okay, so there we go. Now it's time to find Diathorus. Hopefully he's in here. This place is pretty damn big. And we can't Ghost Wolf, which really sucks. So we can't really run run away from stuff. We actually have to fight our way to the guy. Which means I'm not gonna really drop totems. I think I can just fight him like this. I don't really need to. Just, just keep uh keep the shield up. Gift of the Naru. Spell guards are kind of not as strong as they look. Ah! 
Okay, if I was Diathorus, where would I be? Not in there. And not in there. So, let's go down a bit. Oh, look who we found. That one's dead. This looks like someone's in here. Wonder if it's a horde or an alliance. It's going to be interesting to find out. I wonder if he's doing the same quest as me. It's actually really good. And look who it is. It's an undead rogue. Dick. <laughs> oh God. Very dumb move by me. <laughs> that was hilarious. He's gonna get me back. He's probably gonna kill me after this. We're dead. We're dead, dude. We're gonna try to get as far as we can, though. He's dead. What a... Oh, no, he's got Vanish. Oh, man, I think that was a dumb move. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> you didn't want to fight me, would it? But it was smart. Got me good. That's what rogues do. I don't know how he had another vanish. How did he get away? I think he uh, went to a safe spot. And then he... Um, yeah, he went to a safe spot and then he got a stealth off. The good thing is we got deep within, within the cave. That was kind of the goal there. Deeper we get, I think that's where Diathorus will be. I hope. It's crazy how rogues have vanish at that level. It's pretty OP to have a move like that. They're so really. He was about to die there, man. All those mobs on him. Surprised he's lucky he didn't get, like, whiplashed or anything like that. Right after his vanish, he would have been knocked out of vanish by that dot. It's a pretty risky play he played, did there. But we tried to, uh, we tried to fight him. He, ba he bailed. Smart bail. I wonder if Diathorus is up there, where he was standing, and he was just waiting for him. I'd had a feeling we had, we just, you know, that someone was going to be in there. It's cool how there's somebody in this cave, though. Oops, went the wrong way. I think we need to go... But yeah, we may be in trouble. Is it up this way? I don't think it is. So remember we went down and there's like a secret passage up like around here. Yeah, right here.
All right, well, we're back in. Cool thing is, as a uh, spirit, we can kind of just run around this place. Pretty sure we will, we will be able to see mobs as well. We should, yeah, we can. Okay, that's good. Let's go down here. Let's explore a bit. We can find out where this Diathorus guy is. I wonder what's up here. Looks like nothing. It's a ledge. This is where we jump down. And then I ran through here. And this is where we died. I'm wondering if I go down here, is there anything here? It's a great place to res, though. Let's see what's up here. So we're going to have to fight all this stuff. There's the rogue. I wonder what he's doing in here. I also want to find out where that Diathorus guy is. This is where we had our fight. Okay, so he's got to be in that area where I was. We do know the rogue's not camping me now, so that's good information. But you would guess he'd be in here. And up here. This is probably where we should have ran. And then up in here. This is my guess. But there's nothing, there's nothing in here. This may be another good spot to spawn. So where do you think he would be? So he ran... Is he in here? Yeah, I'm hella lost. Oh man, we might even be in the wrong spot. I wonder where he is. Might not even be in here. The thing is, we didn't see any other Dreadlords around. Yeah, kind of odd. It's kind of strange. There he is. Right here. So how do we get here? It's a good thing we're doing this. So I gotta find out how to get this way. So we gotta go... To this thing and we're here so can we live can we res here yeah we can res right here this rogue's gonna gank us though it is what it is Let's see if we get ganked I don't want to waste a mana on a gank. So he's down in this part, right in front of that that uh, Searing Infernal. So I'm going to set up shop here. I'm going to wonder what's going on. We only got six mana, so we can't be stupid. I'll have a milk.
I was that rogue, I would troll me. I got hundred percent. Cause you would know what quest he's doing. Right? You you know he knows I'm doing this quest. Let's bring this one over here. I shouldn't have used that. Either. That was perfect. Save our, uh, we'll use another milk. Then we'll pull this guy over here. But he was a pretty friendly undead rogue, like, he just, he looked pretty like, he, he looked like he didn't want to fight. I went up to him full totem, so he didn't even attack me until I started. Well, he started attacking me at, until like I cast my second searing totem. So he's a pretty friendly guy. But he wasn't friendly when I. Uh, the rogue here. Rogue here. The rogue's here, dude. Okay, this is gonna be weird. I wonder what he's gonna do. Should we Naru? Get down the totems again. Bandage. The rogue's here. Don't want to milk. I should I have a mana totem? Do we have a mana tide? I don't think we do. Stealth classes are the best classes, man. They always keep people on edge. Okay, well, let's see what we got going on here. Sounds like he's fighting. You hear that? Could be fighting my guy. I think his Diathor is in here. Interesting that he's not... It's weird. It's not fighting what the guy I want. It's really weird. I wonder what he's doing in here. Maybe he's looking for him? Yeah, it's kind of odd. Alright, I guess we'll have a drink. I think we can afford to have a drink. And then we'll have a little bit of this uh, soup buff. Get that two stamina and two spirit. Yeah, we'll try to figure this out. So we we have a clear path to Diathora now. Now we just gotta go in and fight him. I'm most likely going to go inside to do this. I think I've resisted. I don't know if this was a good idea, but it is what it is. Did he kill my totem? What a genius. He just resists all my attacks. Health bot. I don't know how we're going to beat him like this. It resists everything, all magic. Drain life. Okay, where did, what the heck is this? That's a really OP ability. We're out of mana. Stupid dirty rogue, dude. I need to. I 
That's another rogue. There's two in here. Oh. Dirt bags. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. We can beat that guy. Alright, yeah, we knew that was gonna happen, guys. There's nothing we could do. We were dead no matter what. But we at least found out where he is, and now we can... I guess we're, we're gonna have to wait for him to spawn again anyways. So it is what it is. And we will, uh... figure this all out eventually. Yeah, it was kind of brutal. Two rogues. I wonder if he like called a friend. He's like, oh man, I got attacked by a shaman. What are they doing in there? That's what I want to know. Well, they're doing the same thing as me. They're doing the quest. <laughs> I'm the one who started this war. So I can't be upset. It is what it is. You don't mess with rogues. Rogues are just whack. They can always get away. Because they have vanish. The only way you can lock down a rogue is if you have a dot on them. Or a bleed. And they're not a dwarf with stone skin. And they're not a... Or they don't have Cloak of Shadows up. They always have, like, a trick up their sleeve. But yeah, we're at the boss. That's all that matters. And now we just gotta heal up and, and fight him. And we got five manas to do it. And there's no chance that I'm going to fight my way out of here. I'm most likely gonna hearth out. That'll be the plan. Because we got five manas. There they are. They're leaving. Okay, that's a good sign. Got to get down there and get rezzed up and ready before everybody spawns. Probably have to fight some stuff. I think we'll just sit in the room, totemed up, waiting for him to spawn. Yeah, this is it. Oh, the sad thing is, though, what if he spawns in another spot? Imagine he doesn't spawn here. He's got to spawn here. Well, if he doesn't, we're in trouble. If he does, we're okay. So we'll set up our totems. We'll just wait. Yeah, I wonder if he'll spawn here. Those rogues, man, they really ruined it for us. The thing is, they would have done that to us if I if I did if I attacked them or not. They were gonna do that. Kind of just being a little conservative on the mana here. Since uh, searing totem doesn't work, I'm not even gonna put it down. We'll just keep those two up and then... Ah, we can have a milk, I guess, to get this man up faster. Thing is, though, I think we could regen it. Probably should just well, eat the... Eat some of this cookies jumbo gumbo. Get a little bit of health. A little bit of spirit.
Come on. I hope he spawns here. If he doesn't spawn here, that sucks. It's fun leveling with two rogues, though. That was the first, that was how I leveled my first way, first time leveling to 80 in Wrath. Leveled as two rogues, it's a lot of fun. I wonder what the spawn timer is too. We'll wait a little bit longer. I might go out and fight that, uh, Maybe we'll go out there and we'll fight that guy. something. I don't think he might... I think he might spawn somewhere else. If I'm not totally mistaken. I don't know. Not too sure. Doesn't show his body. Yeah, I'm kind of unsure what's going on. I'll just wait. Looks like I can fight stuff while we're here. Let's get some XP. I think the rogue's left, though. I don't know, would you think he would spawn in other locations, or do you think they would just keep him in one spot? Usually they just keep him in the same spot. I just hope the spawn timer's not super long. So we missed our chance. Jaden heals. Nice, this is actually good. Nice, sounds good. It's good, I need a, we need a group for this. I'm happy we got a guy who's willing to make a group for it. I am wondering if, uh, if he's around here. This kind of sucks. It's taking a while to spawn. I don't have a lot of mana, so I can't just run around and kill stuff. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to fight you. I hope he comes back. All 
All right. Bandage up again. They gotta be spawning back, man. I'm starting to wonder if he's even here. Or if he's gonna spawn here. So I just could be standing here like an idiot. I think he's got time. This guy's got to find a, get people, but once he gets people, I'm going to want to be done this. Oh, gosh, stressing me out. I don't know what to think. I'm starting to think he's not here. Because he would have spawned by now. He's been dead for like five minutes, ten minutes. But I don't want to leave and then come back and then he's not here and then he's here. It's a real weird situation. Look, we're picking up people quick, dude. Oh, this is brutal. Please just spawn there again. Come on. It's just my luck, man. Like, you know what I mean? Find him and then... And then he just... He won't spawn here. He's not coming here. He would have been here by now. So what do I gotta do? Get out of here? This is so stupid, man. We're gonna have to do this quest another time. Because by the time I fight out of here, like... I... Yeah, we're screwed. We're officially screwed. Oh, man. This is so dumb. Look, the magma's back. Oh, man. Yeah, that's two spawns. He's somewhere else now. It's so dumb. Yeah, we're gonna have him spawn in different locations. So, <laughs> he can get confused. <laughs> so, oh man, he's gotta be in a different location. He would've spawned by now. It's so silly. Cause he was dead before I even got back. And then like, it's been like, the, I've killed one of these, waited for another mob to spawn. This is spawned now. Whatever. We got so unlucky, man. Those stupid rogues, dude. We didn't have the damage because we don't have a two-hander. If I had a two-hander, that boss would have got dropped. But hey, on the positive side, we got a BFD going. Make four more. We only got four of these, so we'll make them. Gonna need to buy some manas before we go to this BFD. I think all we need now is like a DPS. What level is everybody is here? They're 21. This guy's level 21. Whatever, we're all pretty high level, these guys. Alright, well.
I don't know. Guess we gotta... I don't know what to do. I'm kind of in a tough situation. Like, where do I find him now? Is he in another location in here, or... You know what I mean? He's gotta be somewhere. He's gotta be in here again, just in another spot. I want to run back and see if he spawned there again. But I know that's a waste of time. <laughs> Do you think he's up here now? Do you think he's up here? Yeah, he's he's gone. Okay, we gotta get over that. Just move on. All right, so let's go up. We'll try to find some other spots where he would be. It's not him there. I think he's up there. couple of these things here. So that's not worth going into. Might as well get a drink. I'd like to check back again, but I don't think he's there. We know he's not up in here. Use another bandage. Let's see where we can find him. He's probably in this cave. I just don't know where. It's not out here either. It's silly. The thing is, he likes to hang out in these holes. That hole up there doesn't look like it. Those rugs. I don't know where I'm going to find this guy. Alright, three man is left. I'm gonna be like tempted to go back down there to look for him, which is so black. Because like if I go back down there and fight my way back down, he might not be there <laughs> either. So I'll have to see what we can do. So bandage up again. Looks like we're losing our two. 2-2 two, two here. Looks like he's not in here. He's not in there. This seems to be the way... the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. I don't think he's outside. He's not outside. OK, 
Okay. Going back in. Where do you find Diathorus? It's so crappy because we found him. I feel like dying and just running through this place again. Just to find him. Because it's such an easier way to find where out where he is. Funny thing is he might not even be inside here. I wonder if we can run away from this guy. Not have to fight him. Probably not. Nah. Nah, we gotta fight him. Not that fortunate. Die to this guy? I guess we'll healing wave. We got three manas left. Three bandages left. It's Alliance luck, dude. I think Alliance has bad luck in, in WoW. Like, my Paladin, it's been smooth sailing. But this, this Shaman hasn't been smooth sailing. It's been, it's been, it's been rough. Like, I don't know. Uh, another guess is that he's up in here, in this hole. I'm trying to find out which hole he's hiding in. Imagine he's just in the hole that I th wasn't patient enough to wait around. It's like he's not in this hole. This would have been a nice hole to be in. Do I go that way? And that just leads me... What about this hole? Yes, found him. This is actually really bad. Because I have barely any mana. Right, time to just get to the Naru. Found his hole, though. Kick that. That's the only thing we can really kick. Drain life. Save that. He's resisting it. Need to save the kick for drain life. So we can't really use any more mana. Come on, baby. We got this. Don't let him drain life us again. Gotta kick the drain life. This should be it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go! Let's go! Finish him! That's right. We did it, guys. Never give up. Okay, we're hurting out of here. We earned our stripes today, guys. Sure did. I'm turning in the quest. Turning her in. Getting some manas, too. you damn right you're honored. Find a s couple stacks. There you go. We'll never need to mm -hmm. worry about water for a while. Let's take a flight out of here. These guys can summon us. I want to turn it in. We deserve to turn it in. And then we're going to do... Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna do a BFD, guys. About damn time. I can't believe we did it. Got the quest done just in time. Wonder where everybody is on the map. Got one guy here. Everybody's far away, dude. They're gonna expect us to summon. Well, they're gonna have to wait. Because we're turning in this quest. And then we're gonna have to probably go summon these guys. Which is kind of lame, because that means that next next episode's gonna be longer than this one. <laughs> but, it is what it is. Because... I usually like to get the other, like, get other people to summon me. I know that sounds kind of selfish, but it does shorten the episode by a little bit, because I don't really like it when the episodes are, like, an hour like this, so. When I just can start the dungeon right away, like, at the beginning of the episodes, so it's, it's nice. But, um, how it's looking, it's looking like we're going to have to summon. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Salize Alliance. Yep. 48 Drain Eye Paladin. Yeah, we did it. I had a feeling he wasn't in, he wasn't gonna spawn in that hole. We had to find another hole. And we found it. It was a little annoying, cause like and a little stressful at the same time because we didn't have a lot of manas. But well, we found a way to do it. And the rogues, they made, they put a twist on it. Killed us twice. I think the first death we kind of killed ourselves, to be honest. If we just stood there, we might have been able to uh, fight those two mobs off. And then just heal up. Like, we didn't have to follow the rogue, that was kind of silly. But... Clearly the two mobs were kind of motivation for that. I thought I could dodge the two mobs. But I couldn't. They just followed me down. Arcanon Poros. Never again will the Burning Legion threaten us here. You have delivered us from a fight we are very likely would have lost, Shaman. I give you thanks and the deepest gratitude of the Hand of Argus. It honors me to have you at our side. So we'll take this. I don't know if we should take the Agi Stam or the Strength Stam. I think this is better than that Signet Ring. These rings aren't even that good. Like, they should be way better. This, it's not even, like, that much better than this one. Like, two crit, four attack power is pretty good. Three Stam improved hit by four is pretty good, too. Probably get rid of that for this, I guess. Probably take the Agi one. Yeah. Dionysaka. All right. So what's going on with this group? Looks like this guy's flying back. So I might as well fly back as well. I guess we'll keep this. Uh, Keep this one going for now. And then I'll fly back. So looks like the paladin left. How may I help? Oh man. Okay. Right, well, we'll fly back to Ashenvale. And I'll just park myself in Ashenar. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Maybe that paladin got upset that we weren't like summoning him right away. Who knows? But let's check out this ring. I think we're going to get rid of the hit ring. But the thing is, that hit ring really helped. In this quest, because we were fighting stuff. We're going to keep this ring. But I think for stuff we're fight that we're fighting that we don't need hit for, because we're already higher level than it. And we'll just use this one. This will do more damage. And hopefully we get a two-hander in there. I really hope we can get one. Because we will be level 29 after this episode. And that means we will be doing a BG. 
Now, one thing I do hope, I hope we don't get level 30. Because that would suck. I'm really going to try not to get level 30. In this episode. If we, if we do. If we do BFD. Because right now, we're still waiting for a... For a tank, I think, maybe? Unless one of these warriors could tank. Got a pretty high level group for the dungeon. Except for Jaden Heels is kind of low. Yeah, it was a fun episode. It's nice when you got to do a challenge like that. And I've never done that quest before. It's a cool quest. And I was correct about... Um, what's his name? I forget his name, the Di Diablo or whatever his name is, <laughs> Dialysis or something, I don't know. <laughs> whatever that other Dreadlord's name was, he does spawn in different areas of the of the cave. I had a feeling that was going on. Alright, so we're back in Ashenar. Looks like we still need a fifth. I'll probably help these guys try to find one. And I hope we do find one. Kind of look like this dog. Alright guys, well, that is the end of today's episode. Hopefully we get into a BFD. If not, then I guess we will continue questing in Asheville. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.